Hey, good afternoon, friends. Um, hey, I wanted to put out an extra message this week um, just because I was doing some research and kind of inspired to do so. Um, and so I wanted to talk to you, hi, Pete, about protein. Um, so many of you have heard me speak and have, um, sorry, Pete's distracted me, um, have heard me talk about protein and how I hate high protein diets. And um, I've felt like this. I developed this opinion when I was in college and I was studying nutrition. And I was taking a class called Nutrient Metabolism and learning how different macronutrients are broken down in the body. Now, just so you know, I do have the degree to be able to be a registered dietitian. I went on to be a physical therapist, but I learned a lot about my macronutrients, um, not a lot about micronutrients. Okay, I know a lot more about micro micronutrients now, but I've really just scratched the surface because even researchers, researchers have just scratched the surface when it comes to um, phytochemicals and macronutrients, but or micronutrients. But when it comes to protein, I understood at that time um, as much as I do now that large amounts of protein. Um, in our diet is very harmful for the body, um, in particular for the liver and the kidneys. Uh, those two organs are the ones that have to clean out the extra stuff, right? So the, the liver is the junk house, and it will cipher it out, and then it will send it to the kidneys for us to get rid of it, right? And so when it comes to protein, protein is not readily used for energy. It's a large molecule um, when, it, when compared to a carbohydrate, which carbohydrates are regularly used for energy, our cells need glucose in order, they burn glucose for um, energy. The difference is, is that protein has a nitrogen molecule on it, okay? And so if you're getting large amounts of protein in your diet, then your body has to convert that protein to a carbohydrate. And so what it will do is it will just kind of snip off that nitrogen molecule. And so then it's left with carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, which is a carbohydrate, okay? Well, what you have left is the nitrogen. And so your body has to figure out what to do and get rid of that nitrogen. And so it's sent to the liver, um, large amounts. This is a very hard process on the liver and it's made into urea and, um, and you know filtered through your kidneys. And when you have large amounts of urea in your kidneys, it's very um, difficult for your kidneys to filter that out, and it's hard on your kidneys. So just as you may know somebody who um, is like has kidney dialysis or kidney disease, they are told to not get a lot of protein in their diet because the protein is hard on their kidneys. So, in my mind, I'm saying let's not be hard on our kidneys before we get kidney disease, right? Why overload our kidneys and our liver with protein? Um, we can get plenty of protein through um, just a normal, mostly plant-based diet, okay? So, um, you know, <laughs> I, I, I cannot stand certainly protein shakes that are packed full of protein and, you know, protein, 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 protein in our diets, eat, you know, walking around with chicken breasts in our purse or whatever, munching on protein all day long and limiting fruits and vegetables that have wonderful complex carbohydrates and fibers that will help us be healthy. So not to mention all of the micronutrients that are in those plants that help us um, our cells be healthy and help us be healthy at a cellular level. So hope that helps. Um, it's just a simple way to realize why protein is so hard on our kidneys and liver.